terms of parking authority has been filed with the city clerk, has been placed on the appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of the city hall in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and has been transmitted to the official newspaper for the city of New Brunswick, namely the Home News and Tribune. As per the annual notice provided in a resolution adopted by this governing body on December 29, 1975. See that we have uh, minutes from the October 2018 regular board meeting to be approved. Can I get a motion? I will make a motion. And a second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll delay the approval of the September minutes until uh, the meeting in the future. Mr. Cameron. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, again, with the Performing Arts Garage, uh, precast correction was completed. Uh, the crane's been dismantled. So currently they are completing welding, welding precast connectors together, and then next week they're going to begin pouring the washes and running conduit. So moving along, uh, we had a snow event on November 15th. Uh, we did open the garages to residents, and 11 residents took advantage of that. A, as far as the reservation system, uh, it's. it's interest and usage is picking up. Uh, in November, we had 50 reservations, and surprisingly, 25 were here at the Gateway Garage. And uh, next was nine, nine at Lower Church Street Tech. But uh, as, as word's getting out, we're seeing an increase each month in the number of reservations. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Today, we completed the new market tax credit for, for the wellness center, the unwind of that. Uh, just to remind the board that was part of the financing structure for the Wellness Plaza. The uh, market tax credits used to attract the private capital uh, into projects in distressed areas, basically. And they have a 39% tax credit over seven years. The, the investors did. So, seven years is up. It's been seven years already. So, uh, we'll close that out today. And uh, just we, I, we did a little analysis and it was interesting to see that uh, the usage of credit cards at our on-street meters has, has grown considerably. So out of 100,000 transactions in October, 73% used credit cards to pay the transactions. So that's been growing uh, over the past year on a monthly basis. So and when we first started, it was like below about 45%, so yeah. now up to 73 so that seems to be the payment of choice. And that is all I have right now. Okay. Uh, right. Finance? Um, the October March statement was <coughs> uh, The budget for 2009-19 was accepted by the state. We have for an option today. Um, okay. Thank you. Any legal issues today? Uh, no report. Okay. Any public comments today? Yes. Charles Cranfield, New Brunswick, New Brunswick Today. Um, very briefly, uh, about that 73%, uh, is that, that includes Park Mobile as well yes. as the, yes, know, yes. the, the, the I mean, Do you know what the breakdown is between? I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Yeah. I have that number, I just don't have it right in front of me. Okay, I'm just curious which one's more popular. Is it more people are actually putting the cards in the machine? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, that's, okay. still, that's still more popular. And then, uh, is there any update on the Ferron Mall site? Is it still contaminated? Is it? Um, uh, is there a designated redeveloper yet? I don't know. I don't know. If there's a designated redeveloper. Uh, I know that they're, they're looking for you know interest in the site. Obviously, with the technology hub, whatever they're calling it. And then um, the other item is the. Uh, the environmental remediation is still ongoing. It's ongoing, okay. And does the parking authority have any plan or time frame for when Church Street might reopen? No, I think it's based on the project that's going to occur over there. So the parking authority has no intention of reopening Church Street at this point? No, not, nothing in there, no. Okay. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Is there any other board discussion? If not, uh, can I get a motion to uh, for the payment resolution for November? I'll make a motion in a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, now we have a resolution adopting the 2019 authority budget. Yes. This is, everything remains the same. 
last time we approved it, now we're adopting it. Right. Okay, so this was after the state's. This was after the state's. Yeah, state approved okay. their approval. Right. Can so I get a motion? I'll make a motion. Ten seconds. So in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're going to hold off on uh, number three. Uh, Mitch, number four. Okay, number four is uh, obviously we use a payroll system, uh, outside payroll uh, service to handle our payroll and uh, even resource services. Uh, so we, we put it out for a, uh, <coughs> a competitive price proposal and we got two, uh, two responses, one being our current company of Prime Point and the other being ADP, uh, based on certain criteria that we had laid out in the request for proposals, uh, it was determined that Prime Point uh, met our needs uh, and requirements uh, more so than ADP. So the recommendation is to uh, go forward with uh, using Prime Point on a one-year contract with four one-year options to renew. So that would be a total of a term of five years point for Okay. Can I get a motion to uh, um, I just had one question on the options. Are they an increased fixed increased cost or how would the uh, going forward? Can we do that? We can commit to longer than a year. Well uh, you can't by law we can only do have you can only go into a contract so long. So I think it's Two years with three one-year options, but we decided to do the one. So okay, but and then and those options are at a fixed price. You you know what that price is now. Yeah, it depends on. It's based on the number of checks that they process. I so it fluctuates. Fee, right? the, the fee per, per check is the same, but obviously it fluctuates because some you know, okay. some ones have more employees than others. And, yeah, so that's what. So next year's fee will be based on a retrospective look at the <coughs> <year's> activity. <coughs> No, the fee remains the same. So in other words, if say, let's say they charge fifteen dollars a check. I don't know if that. I mean, whatever. Okay. All right. So fifteen dollars a check. So you know, you might have a hundred employees this payroll. So it'll be fifteen hundred. Next payroll it might be one hundred and ten. So it'll be sixteen, whatever. That that got placed in it. Fifteen, sixty, whatever. Okay. So it fluctuates, but the per check fee remains the same. Right. And it meets all the criteria. So yeah, yeah. I, I would offer. Uh, Okay. Motion, motion. No second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Mitch, any old business, new business issues? Uh, the only thing I just want to bring up is the pedestrian bridge that the engineering firm is currently working on 90% uh, design and specs to be presented to Amtrak and New Jersey Transit for their approval. So we're, we're getting closer. Great. That's great news. Okay. You have closed session items? Yeah, I just I want to go over the uh, the American Repertory Ballet uh, lease. Okay. We'll have a closed session. Very good. Can I get a motion to go into closed session? Move a motion. And a second. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Back in open session based on our uh, discussion with Mitch. Uh, uh, he described the, uh, the lease with the American Repertory Ballet. Given that information, can I get a motion to uh, approve all these? I'll make a motion. On a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, now can I get a motion to uh, adjourn? Make a motion. And a second? Aye. In favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye.